But it just wrecked my antennas now. Hammer? Oh, I'm waiting for them to bring a hammer down for us. So we're having a bit of a feed and a drink and uh, having not slurring too much. But uh, we're getting on it and we're now getting into it. So it gives, <laughs> gives us our motivation to get some work done. There you go, cut shit out of his hands. Uh, mate, how hot is it you reckon now? About 30. About 30, there you go. Nice and humid and about 30 degrees. So we're, we're starting to cook now. It's really good weather now. Love it. Love the warm weather. Here's European to die over here. <laughs> there you go. If you love the snow, don't come. You cook your ring off here. While he's up there, I've been busy getting ready for this Yagi to put up. At the moment, just got the boom on and I uh, got the mast ready. Got the aluminium mast here at the moment that we've made up. Oh, gee, my feet's burning on the ground. Should wear shoes next time. Uh, oh, cooking, cooking. And I've got a big, uh, we found a bit of wooden pole down here as well. I'll walk in the shade here. Ah, oh, it's better. And all the elements are here ready. So I'm just getting all those together at the moment. And uh, only problem we've come across at the moment with this uh, Yagi is one slight little mishap, which always happens. But it's always good to have, uh, with the soldering iron, I don't need a soldering iron now, is with this one here. Good old connector, that wire always comes off. Yeah, you know, you can solder it so much, but uh, when it's in the pole and all the other bits of um, aluminium hidden inside the big piece of conduit we bring along, it always seems to snap off, but uh, I do bring a spare. And you know, actually one or two in there anyway, so um, that's just got to go on. Throw some of that wire up, mate. You want some wire? Yes, Alright, mate. There it is, there's, uh, there's a vertical. There's the tip of it coming down, so it is in line with the palm tree. Got it secured, and um, I'll get back into work on this Yagi. Okay, we're back out of the shack again. I finished calling, uh, got a few UK stations in the log and a few uh, 30 divisions and a uh, few a bit of Europe in there as well, mate, so it's good for the morning. Conditions have dropped right off for us. I just pulled the uh, Yagi antenna down, having a few problems here. I've been working everyone on the vertical antenna at the moment, but at the moment uh, this antenna seems to be a bit deaf and um, we have to wait for the staff to come into this location because we came in on a Sunday and there's no staff. We can't get in decent poles. This one doesn't get high enough, having a bit of problem. So actually I've got to get the reflector out and I just adjust the reflector a little bit and um, we should be alright. This is the normal antenna we always take on our de-expeditions. So it works very well just today, it's got a bit of a problem so it um, won't take long to work it out. I'll just get the, I'll readjust the calculator and readjust the measurements on uh, the driven and the reflector. And we should be okay and use the, hopefully use the Yagi later on today. Oh, here we are. The old coconuts. Alright, head back up to the shack. I think it should be well and truly DXing now, the old J. It's going to come into our little, little abode here. Ooh, got to be nice, mate. Better take me thumbs off. Here we go, number one man. All right. No propagation, mate. No propagation. Look at you, someone. On activation here. Drive You listen to there, Fred. Well, I, don't, I don't think it is. I think that's 250 division. Go down. Um, we'll not, try. Um, he's working split. He's working right suplex here. Two three. Oh, two three. There we go.
Mm. 34 on the chook band. Chook band? On the chook band. Hang on, let's go down here. On the chook band. Where's all locals? There is plenty of locals here. You'd be surprised what you hear, mate. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, right. When I was in Vietnam, I heard some unbelievable contacts there. Yeah, no, everyone in Europe thinks there's no operators in Tonga. There is a couple, and there's plenty on the chook band, but um, they don't DX, so that's a problem for you fellas up there. But there is a couple out here, but uh, I won't say any more. <laughs> but uh, just got to go for a bit of a search round. Let you listen to some conditions from another location. Yeah, malo, malo, malo pinto. We'll just give him a hello in um, Tongan. See who comes back to yeah, our call. Malo, malo pinto. Anyone copy, copy? Got one. It's like fishing. <laughs> yeah, malo baby, how are you, baby? You copy me over? Can you hear me, baby? Yeah, it's yeah, like malo, a fishing malo. trip. You just give a few calls in their language and they come back, but uh, that's about as far as we can go because we don't know any more words. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate, I don't think I'll pull you anymore. <laughs> Not a shave, mate. That's why I look at myself in the camera in the morning, I'll even look worse than him. Let's fix the Yagi, mate. Let's make okay, it. we're going to get off now and fix the Yagi. Okay, we've just now adjusted the elements on the Yagi. Okay, we've, uh, what do you say? We've gaffer taped the ends to different, we've just done different sizes. We resized it to the band again. So we're just going to do an SWR test and, uh, hang on, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, <laughs> All right we're going to go back in now. Just a quick, quick look here. Going to head back in now and, uh, do some At the testing. moment we're just um, putting on a pole, found some coconut um, tree um, bit of timber, put them together, put the pole in there, we've just got to get some more materials just to join up properly and we're going to erect it up into this tree here so it goes over the top of this uh, tree. So we're getting into it now, slow process, starting to get cooking. How hot is it Jay? About 25, 26 at the moment? Yeah. Same in the morning early. So um, at the moment get it to get up in the tree and it'll be laughing. All right, it's the afternoon time now. Well, I don't know what time it is, about local time, probably about six, seven o'clock in the evening. Still nice and hot. We've got the Yagi up now. It's beaming uh, short path Africa. DX's drive, drive uh, died down a little bit. So the Yagi's up there on its pole, looking good. Made out of coconut tree wood. <laughs> Pretty flexible stuff made, very springy wood, but it's strong, that's the main thing. Holds the yard up there nice and well. We'll swim, snorkeling, the usual stuff everyone does on a good time out. Between old DXing sessions, we had a good feed. I can't complain too much. Done a bit of exploring. Ah, what more can you say? I better turn this off and have some more fun. See ya. <coughs> Okay, gentlemen, I'll oh, we'll take turns at this. I'm the log boy today. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to work split, guys. There's uh, extremely a lot of QRM. I will be working split, gentlemen. I'm listening on this frequency, but I'm calling 10 down, okay? Working split, I call 630. I'm listening this one. I'm listening 640. I will be working split, gentlemen. I and call we've got the Yagi working today. I listen 640, I call 630 listening this one. Okay, QIZ gentlemen, I'm calling 10 up. I'm calling on 630, I'm listening 10 up. Listen 10 up, QIZ.